Hey, welcome back to your Caribou Data Science Channel America. Today is, well, what today is, is of course, uh, Monday, August the 30th, 2020. It's time for your daily COVID-19 analysis. Before we get shout out, a big shout out to the, what, the six and the 12 people? The 18 people who watch this video, extra interesting enough, 12 of those views are actually from people under the age of 18. So anyway, thanks so much for, you know, to, to all you folks, of course, you know, click the subscribe button, click that like button, and also don't forget to click on the share button. Share this with your, family, your friends and family on Facebook and Twitter. You can also copy and paste the link to this video into an email or a text message, okay? Let's go and get started here. Uh, one of the curious things about COVID-19 cases is how they're being counted. Okay, if you look at diseases like heart disease and cancer, they're counted one year at a time. Okay, so every year on January 1st, count, you know, the count for cases and death, cancer cases and deaths are set are reset to zero. But on, on COVID-19, we're counting cases from the from the from January 20 when the first case was was diagnosed in Ohio, and beginning counting deaths from January from February from February 28th, 2020. Okay. Which is slightly misleading because 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 it makes it looks like the numbers are are continuing to go up even after not. So you can see from the from January 2020 on we had 38.7 million cases. From February 2020 onward we had 600, uh, 637 cases. Now here's the question: If we're over 50 percent vaccination rate, why are cases still increasing? More importantly, why are these cases increasing beginning in July? Sweden began in July. Saw an increase in July. Israel sees an increase in July, and the state of Ohio sees an increase in July. Is this the new variant? Of course, part of the answer to the question, if as far as cases is, the vaccine doesn't keep us from getting COVID-19 cases. So this number, even in theory, if, we, if every man, woman, and child in America were vaccinated, in theory, this number could still go up because it doesn't keep people from getting COVID-19. And what about deaths? We have increased beginning in January in COVID-19 deaths also in the U.S. Well, the vaccine, I hate to say the vaccine doesn't come with any guarantee. It doesn't guarantee that you won't catch COVID-19, and it doesn't guarantee that you won't, you can't, you won't die from COVID-19. Okay? It, what it does, at best, it reduces the chances that you're going to die by reducing the severity of the disease, but it doesn't guarantee you're not going to die. Okay? So this, this is the... Uh, Total number of cases for 2020, about 20, uh, 20 million. And this is the total number of cases for so far for 2021. You can see we're over, or, or probably about 18 million right now. Okay. The question is, will 2020 catch 20? Yes, I, I think it absolutely will. we got four months to go. Is that four months is more than enough time for us to catch maybe even past the 2020 numbers. Okay. What about deaths? Well, Again, 2020 deaths versus 2021 COVID-19 deaths four months ago. There's a chance that that we may that 2021 deaths may not catch 2020 deaths, COVID-19 deaths, and that'd be very good because we actually have uh, you know one extra month in uh, in 2020 to count for. Okay. Now here you can see this just compares the the 2020 to 2021. You can see 2020 saw an increase. In cases, while 2021 had a had a lot had a big decline in cases here to here to July 2021. Okay, same thing with this: an increase in deaths and a decrease in the number and 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 a, and a decrease in the, the same pattern here. So what's what's the average number of cases currently for Dave? So for the seven-day period ending August the 22nd, we're averaging 151,000 cases per day. What about deaths? Well. You do see an increase in deaths, but the the, the average is the seven day average for August 22nd is 1,141 deaths. You can see the increase in cases here. This is this isn't particularly good, but of course, you know, again, the vaccine isn't going to pre prevent these numbers from going up. The vaccine isn't going to is also isn't going to prevent hospital beds to fill up. Okay. And that's and that's why you can't really use cases as as a measure because you can't the vaccine can't keep you from getting it and that the, you know what's what what good does it do okay uh, this is a disclaimer I did of course get the full vaccination notice I did observe the uh, you know social distancing and wearing masks when required now what about deaths you can see we have we have an increase in deaths here 
okay, to about 75, 800, 8,000 deaths, okay, for last week, which is a five or six week increase, okay? What about monthly cases? Well, you can see that monthly cases for August are going to be the fourth most cases so far. Deaths, well, deaths are going to be, well, you know, it's, it's, deaths are going to be lower than all these numbers over here, but they, they, they did break a, four, uh, a five month decline in deaths, though, okay? So anyway, Buck, anyway, America, that does conclude your report for today. Hey, as always, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Don't forget to click that share button. And don't forget to, uh, you know, you know, click the like button also. Thanks so much for your time, America. We'll catch you uh, tomorrow with an updated report.